Where do you think the world's most expensive coastal street is located? Monaco? France? America? Hong Kong? What if I told you that this is where you'll find a street with only 13 mansions that combined have a staggering property value of 93 million? And it's based here, on the south coast of England, on a peninsula in Dorset. And I am about to visit it. My goal was to take my bicycle on a train to Bournemouth so I could do some sightseeing there and at the end of the day, before returning to London, cycle to Sandbanks to experience what it is like to walk, or cycle for that matter, in the most expensive coastal street in the world. If you've known me for a while, you know at least three things about my trips. One, I am always carrying way too much stuff. Two, I have a very bad time perception and so I kind of underestimate what I can do on a day and always end up running. And three, things never really go as planned. So of course, this time was definitely no exception. I spent too much time enjoying Bournemouth that I lost track of time and end up cycling on full speed to Sandbanks so I wouldn't miss my train back. The result? I will show you in a second. Let's just take a break so I can tell you what makes this place so special. Sandbanks is one of those locations you wouldn't exactly expect to find in England. It's a beautiful stretch of sand where those living here get access to some of the most spectacular views of Pearl Harbor, Brown Sea Island, and even old Harry Rocks from afar. It's definitely a dream location for many, especially considering that some celebrities have lived or still do live here. As you approach Sandbanks from Bournemouth, you start seeing plenty of mansions and the amount of people walking around certainly decreases. It's like a much calmer, exclusive seaside resort. When I first looked it up online, I knew that the most expensive coastal street in the world was in Panorama Road but I completely miss the fact that the Millionaire's Row, as many call it, is actually located at the end of the peninsula, just by the ferry. This meant that I cycled around the entire road, not once, but twice, trying to figure out what houses exactly were worth that much and completely missed the right location. That's something I actually would expect from me. <laughs> Thanks to this, I ended up passing by the Millionaire's Row twice, but didn't really record it as I was planning to, mostly because I didn't notice that was the exact location. After all, these houses here, for example, they look pretty damn impressive, yet they are not part of it. So let's just forget about my lack of orientation and time management for a second and focus on why exactly the most expensive coastal street in the world is located here, out of all places in England. The Millionaire's Row has been very popular amongst wealthy people, mostly due to its perfect location, with stunning views over the area and plenty of privacy. The row itself is fairly small, only 850 feet or 300 meters, fitting only 13 mansions and kind of already at a push, since they were designed to fit in relatively narrow pieces of land. This means that only 13 homeowners will get to live in this prime location, and with increasing demand, aligned with the fact that one of these houses once belonged to John Lennon, real estate prices increase a lot for these properties. If you're thinking of getting one, you know, just in case, you will need at least 5.2 million. But there are others worth almost the double of that. Considering the fact that these mansions are located in such narrow plots of land, the value per square foot is unbelievably high. Hence why Millionaire's Row became the most expensive coastal street on the planet. But it wasn't always like that. Sandbanks was once known as Parkstone-on-Sea, a desert stretch of sand used as wasteland. It wasn't until after World War I, when a road was built to connect the peninsula with the mainland, that wealthy people started to invest in building their mansions in the area. And over the course of a century, it developed into this exclusive seaside resort that we know today. 
As of now, if you're not going to be one of the lucky ones to live in such a prime location, you can still visit the beautiful sandbanks and even admire the hella expensive mansions from the ferry. You know, while you think about the miserable studio flat you struggle to pay at the end of the month. Um, uh, just me? Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. A massive thank you to all of you and my supporters on Patreon for making this possible. See you next time, bye bye!